folks, I'm Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the Spiro Studios, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. That's why our orcs go off in the background. Pale, Atrio, Toxious, and the Horrid Assassin. Hi, my zillions. This was a Kickstarter back in, I want to say 2018. Uh, I think initially the Kickstarter started in 2017. Uh, not a hundred percent sure on on the, those dates, but this was series one, part of series one. These are the the figures that I went in on, and um, the guys at Spiro Studios we interviewed while I was on Repack podcast a while back, and uh, based on that, you know, based on that one, I I actually pre-ordered these on the spot, uh, which was a fun thing to do, you know. Uh, why not? Uh, but I just never got around to reviewing these, unfortunately. A lot of them just stayed in their packaging for quite a while. Uh, but Ultrazilla Jr. wanted to play with some, some new toys. And uh, I brought these guys up and the Lanard Toys uh, Primal Clash figures. And they really went well together. So, are these really cool? So let's find out. Before we get completely started on the figures, I do want to show off the nice card backs these things came on. Really nice art on them. Nice logo. They do have uh, a comic, uh, which is cool. So it's always nice to have like a story with this stuff. Go to Spiro Studio, Spiro.studio, check it all out. Really, really nice. Little bios on the back. Let's take a look at all the art. It's Toxious, it's Pale, Atreus, and a Horrid Warrior. Really nice stuff. Articulation on these guys, heads on a ball joint. You got an ab joint here, works fine. Uh, there's nothing in the waist, so it's just the, the top ab. Then hinge swivel at the shoulder, hinge swivel at the elbow. Uh, the wrists are just pegged in, so you just get a swivel out of them, I think. No, actually, there is a hinge there. Yes, there is. And then legs. That far, this far, this far back. And the slightest bit of rotation in there. Double jointed knee. And then you do get a hinge here at the foot. Uh, and that's about it. So the same goes for all of them. They all have the same, so there's nothing really uh, to talk about with the rest. One fits all. I mean, obviously you're gonna have some slight variations on how far, you know, it could go wide or not, but I don't think there's really much variation here. So there you go. For accessories, first up, Pale uh, comes with this extra like wolf head. They all come with extra heads so you can make them into different characters and I think that's pretty cool. Um, a little bit of variation. This one is rather neat. Uh, very slight on paint. You just get black on the nose and it is a little bit messy there and the eyes are fine. Uh, and that's kind of like the whole deal with all of these unfortunately. Um, there is a lack of shading in paint which was corrected with the second round of these. Um, but yeah, I don't have those. Do a duel here, you get this bow, and then um, you get this. All of these guys come with these little pegs that you could put on their backs. So you could do that. We get this spear, looks pretty good. All of them kind of color-coded-ish to the characters. Uh, it's not bad. I think either the top part of this comes off and becomes like a dagger or my paint got loose, my uh, glue got loose, but I can do that with this, um, which I think is kind of neat. What do you think? And finally, we get this really cool big sword here. I really do like it. Um, it's very nicely sculpted. Really, really good looking. I like it a lot, actually. Trey is holding the heads really nice. I do like this one a lot. Nice little mustache and beard there. Nice hair, really cool. He comes with a golden ax, which is actually really nice looking. I do like it. And his sword is really nice. It gives him sight beyond sight. 
A tray also comes with one of these back things, but this is not his. Uh, his just fell down right as I was about to start the review. Uh, and is lost in the ether of this floor. Uh, but this is the Horrids. Also comes with this really cool alternate head. I like this sculpt a lot. We get this really nice bow. I like the color on this one. For weapon, for other weapons, I should say, uh, we get these two Psy. Another dagger, and yes, the other one was not broken because now I can see it's the same sculpt. And this really cool looking blade. I'm not sure what these are called, but this is really nice looking. Nice sculpt here. And lastly, for Pepe Le Pew, um, it's all reused stuff. We get the size again, we get the Atreyu sword, we get this thing again, and obviously they all come with this back thing. These are all done in blue. Wish there was a little more color on them, but that's what you get. However, we do get two heads. Here's one that looks pretty interesting. Um, Maybe, I, I don't know if this is supposed to come with him. Maybe this come, This is supposed to be with the Horrid. Uh, it was in his baggie, but <laughs> it might have been in the Horrid uh, thing, because I could I could see this being more like a Horrid Trooper than uh, something for uh, Stinkor there. But we do get an alternate uh, head sculpt here for Toxious, uh, which does look cool. It's got a different hairstyle here. I, I dig that. I think that looks really nice. Take a look at these guys further. I think all of them have nice proportions, that's for sure. Uh, they did these three and three quarter inch figures pretty right, I'd say. Um, not bad. Again, like I mentioned during the uh, accessories, especially with the head sculpts, I wish there was some more paint on them, some, you know, shading would have been really good, but man, yeah, we don't get that here, um, which is unfortunate. But taking a look at Pell further the head sculpt is pretty nice the sculpts are pretty good, really good you know I, I do dig him i like his mohawk his little sideburns there his eyes look pretty good features aren't bad there is a white here that separates the color so it's there is two tones there the accessories well these like over these the armor i would have to say um i feel like it doesn't stay on very well uh on most of these um that's a little bit of a bummer and this guy in particular has a problem with his arm coming out a lot so just to mention those uh right there but you know we do have a little bit of paint on the accessories a little bit but that's not bad. I, I'll take what I could get. But overall, oh man, the sculpts aren't bad. This guy uh, looks pretty good sculpt-wise. But yeah. Hey, you might hear like a hint of disappointment because I'm just kind of recalling. I, and I, I feel bad about this, but it's it's been a while now and I didn't do the review right away because I was just a little disappointed uh in the way the armor felt and um you know uh, the feeling of like there's something lacking in the paint department and yeah yeah I, they felt the same so you know good on them to uh have corrected it but i mean he does look pretty cool he's definitely a cool looking character the horrid assassin has a nice eye patch i i like this head a lot i think it's pretty good I like this piece of armor. This is cool. This is this feels tighter than the other one, uh, his stuff. These things on the bottom can get a li little loose on some of these guys, but this one, I have to say, except for that right there, that attachment, um, his stuff kind of stays on decently. So that's pretty good. He's, he does have a little bit more paint in the chest there. That's pretty cool. I do like that. I don't know what that is, some sort of symbol there, but it's very nice. Paint on the strap is good and on the belts. So Hard Assassin here, I do like a little more, I have to say. He looks really cool. Definitely uh, like this guy over Pale. Noxious is also rather neat. Head sculpt is pretty good. I feel like, hold on, let's... 
I'm like having a hard time seeing this eye painted completely well. That one is, but that one isn't. Um, the white hairs look good. This orange could have used some sort of something on it, some dirt or something. <laughs> that would have been pretty good. I do like the color scheme with the orange and the black for sure. And this guy has some like markings on him too. And, and that is uh, pretty neat. I do dig that. I like how he looks. Let's see if we pop off his head and take this off. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So not bad there. I do uh, like it. Nice markings there. So a really cool sculpt here. The armor could have a little more to it as far as, uh, you know, it'd be, man, yeah, some sh And I got cut off, but I was saying some shading here uh, would be pretty cool. But otherwise, he's neat. And finally, Atreyu here is uh, the guy I, I really wanted this for. And he does have, and it's the, the lion note thing, come on. Uh, Short-haired lion note here. I like that head sculpt a lot. It's very, very nice. Well done. Nice features there. And his armor has two tones on it. So that is cool. Uh, I dig it. There is more attention to detail here. Yeah. This isn't bad. This is not bad. A little more could be used here, but otherwise, I have to say, this one ends up looking the coolest. Uh, the armor is well done. Oh, his little wristlet fell off. But yeah, I mean, otherwise, I think the paint looks pretty good on the armor, and that helps because there's, you know, more armor on this. Kind of like, uh, Noxious, Toxious, um, is it Noxious or Toxious? I can't remember right now. Um, you know, it's the same armor, but you see a little bit of paint separation goes a long way and i'm happy that this one for me turned out the best because uh he's the one i want the most also just to mention his feet and his hands definitely have some uh paint variation that's pretty cool i believe yeah pale does too so yeah not bad not bad you know for your size comparisons here are the animal warriors with a bunch of figures you might have in your collection and my final thoughts, I feel like this review, I was a little all over the place as far as like disappointed and then I wasn't. Um, it's one of those things. I think I was very confused also when I, when I got these two because um, I felt like there should have been more going on. But like looking back now, it's not bad. Uh, you know, the figures are not bad, but you know, they felt the same way. And um, you know, when they did their second series, there was definitely a lot more shading and paint on them. Uh, and that is pretty cool. I did not go further in on the line, uh, unfortunately. They do look awesome, and uh, there was some of the bigger ones uh, that I kind of really wanted to get, and I just never did, uh, you know, with so many things on order. It was one of those things where I felt like my personal disappointment in this first series kind of contributed to me going, well, you know, I don't know if I want to go in again. But I'm really glad to see that uh, a lot of the figures after this initial wave is a lot better. So definitely support them. They It looks like they're doing really cool stuff. Um, you know, I, I'm glad I did support them from the beginning, though. You know, at the beginning, though. Uh, because it, it was, it's definitely cool ideas here. And something you definitely want to support is cool ideas. <laughs> So there you go guys, uh, that's my review, hope you dug it, let me know your thoughts below, please like, comment, subscribe, and share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram, stay safe, till next time, peace out. Peace.